Hi guys, welcome back to our live stream. Today I'm here with Jeffrey Verhagen. Hi guys. Hi. And um, last week we went to the Duisburg Angelmesse. It's the one of the, let's say, the bigger uh, angling fairs in Germany. Yeah. And uh, Jeffrey, what did you think about it? It was nice to be on a fair again. It was a long time uh, that I've been to one because every fair here in Belgium was cancelled and in Holland is the same. Yeah. But it's nice to see it was big. Um, Easy entry. <laughs> Easy entry. Yeah, you came there, just pay your 10 euros and you get inside. And then, uh, yeah, lots of stuff there, lots of stuff. Yeah, also lots of, lots of people. I yeah, think lots of people. Everybody was happy after Corona, yeah, let's say, to, yeah. to go back to the fairs again. So, um, yeah, it was nice to see all yeah. the people and, and a lot of boats also for, a, for yeah, an angling yeah. fair. It's nice to see a lot of boats, yeah. different brands, different budgets for lot, boats. A lot of predator fishing. Yeah, a lot of predator fishing. Not much carp. Almost no, none, I none. saw. A bit no. of fly fishing as well. Yeah, a little bit of it. So, hi guys in the chat. I see already some viewers are yeah. logging in. Uh, hi, Paul. How are you? Hi, uh, guys. They say hi if you want via the chat. We are here again uh, to answer all your questions. But yeah. today, we will talk about batteries. First thing is, uh, first, what I want to show you is what I did a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, well... And it's, uh, Without me. Before we go to the, let's say, to the batteries, I want just to have a quick, uh, let's say, sniff of the atmosphere. atmosphere. Yeah, yeah. Of, uh, a couple of weeks ago, I went fishing with Bart and his nine-year-old son. We did a lot of vertical fishing, which is easy uh, if you have a kid on board. Um, so let's see how that went. You can actually see his uh, bait uh, of uh, Leo. And it's a bit above the bottom and you see a big pike on the bottom. Yeah, you can see it clearly you there. Lift it up a bit to your bait. Yes. The, and yeah. I must say oh, the Leo. pikes were very, very aggressive. Be, uh, <laughs> crazy shot. There must be some uh, spawning yeah. uh, going on, I think, because this was not the biggest pike, so probably male. Uh, and you caught a few in yeah. the same area, so... Same area and all, all very aggressive. That's a sign. So, yeah, a sign. yeah must be a sign. Let's but it's nice for a, the girl, the father to go fishing with your nine-year-old son. Yeah, my dream as yeah. well. Yeah, looks awesome, looks awesome. Okay, you see already Christophe is also there, Steven is also there. Okay, let's start with the topic of today, which yeah. is boat batteries. Yeah, just batteries, but we use them in boats. <laughs> of course, of course. Uh, we'll start with the three different uh, types. That we uh, use, yeah, yeah. Big types. Yeah. Um, lead, lithium ion, and lithium iron phosphate. Yeah, phosphate. Um, yeah. That's the one. That's, uh, that's what we one. use a lot. Uh, we'll not, we will not discuss lead that much. No, because you have a lot of difference in lead also, um, but that's that's a technology that's it's going away. It's going yeah, away. It's so uh, Less and less used. Yeah. Also, if we're talking about belly boats, batteries. It's so possible. You, you can do it. You can put one battery in one. your belly boat, but that's it then. Yeah, indeed. Um, today we will talk about what are the differences between the, the various types. Yeah. Uh, why would you choose one or the other? Uh, is there a difference in quality? What is like having? What is the comfort of having yeah, a yeah. lithium battery? Um, There's a lot of difference in each type. Uh, each has its benefits and its downfalls. Um, mm -hmm. And then you have to. Yeah, you have to wait it out yourself. Yep. What do you need? Oh. And we'll end with what are the dangers? Yeah. With some practical yeah. examples. Uh, what not to do. What not to do and... Uh, yeah, what can what happen. Yeah. Can happen. Yeah. So, so um, let's talk about a lithium battery. Uh, I just made a... I, I broke down a, a lithium battery uh, earlier this week. Yeah. Um, I always already see uh, Guy is also in the chat. Yeah. So I broke down a lithium battery earlier this week uh, just to see what are the um, components. components. Yeah. yeah, see what's inside of the, the, the casing you get when yeah. you get and a battery. Every, well, I'll, you can explain, but well, well, every uh, battery is, lithium battery is actually built the yeah, same way. Yeah, lithium ion and lithium phosphate are, uh, iron and phosphate are a little bit made the same. It just cells, independent cells are, are a combination of series and parallel to each other. Yeah. I don't know. Um, and then you, they are all connected to the BMS and to your charging or to your uh, outtake post. And the BMS uh, regulates your uh, voltage and your amperage. Indeed. Um, and yeah, you, you also have difference in build materials. If you're going from one brand to another, you have the difference in quality. Yeah, um, indeed. Uh, so what? Uh, why would you choose one? Uh, why would you choose the other? Uh, yeah. uh, within the lithium... Uh, 
yeah. family, let's say, you also yeah. have differences. Uh, lithium ion, lithium iron phosphate. phosphate. Yeah. Uh, so uh, lithium is a little lighter. Lighter. Yeah, a lot lighter. Is about the half of a lithium phosphate iron yeah. phosphate about. Um, but then the, that's, that's, that's a plus for the lithium ion. A plus for the lithium iron phosphate is the charging cycles. It's about double the one of lithium ion. Indeed. I will put on the, yeah, put on the overlay. The overlay. Made. I made a, a small overlay. And let's have a, a practical example. For example, you want to go fishing uh, for a whole day and you used to do this with your 105 LED. I will uh, show it. Wait, give me a minute to get the beast. Yeah. <coughs> uh, battery. So this, this one. Uh, Regardless, oh, you do cannot see the brand. That's yeah. perfect. So regardless of the brand, it's, yeah, uh, it's the same. They all are, are all the same. Yeah. 105 uh, amper hours. 36 um, kilos. 36 kilos indeed. Yeah. Um, so that's a beast, eh? That's indeed a beast. Impossible almost to tag along on the belly boat. Yeah, you can put one in and yeah. then. then but it's it. used quite a lot on the yeah. on, on regular boats. Yeah, too. it's cheap. And that's, that's, that's um, it. So what I have put here is uh, the price, 165 euros for this battery, for example. Um, it's bad for your back also. Hi, Greg. <laughs> bad for the back. And then if you have lithium ion, which is around 600 euros for 50 ampere hours. Yeah. Now, why are we uh, comparing 50 ampere hours with 105? It, it is because a lead uh, battery, you cannot fully discharge. No. The yeah. cells will bend if you do that. Indeed. So if you would discharge a lead battery 100 uh, percent, or let's, it's actually it's actually just not possible. But no. if you would keep on uh, discharging yeah. it, you will permanent permanently damage the lead battery. Yeah, your capacity is going to be gone. Next time you go yeah. fishing, you can charge it again, but then after a few more hours, it will yeah. be depleted again. Indeed, it will never reach its top uh, capacity no. again. And there's nothing to regulate it. You can keep on you can keep on drawing your uh, power yeah. from it. Yeah. So the it means that the, you don't really have a, a voltage indicator or percentage indicator no. which means that you can keep on drawing the current out of this battery and it will get damaged and you will not know it yeah you see a lot when, when some people don't fish in the winter and they keep their boat stored yeah but they have a little uh you know, lights that keep on going on their boat it will keep on depleting your battery so it yeah. will damage your battery in the end and that's the difference between then if you go to lithium ion or lithium iron phosphate you have your BMS who protects yeah. your battery for uh, depletion. Yeah, so you can deplete your battery 100%. That's why we yeah. we compare the uh, 50 ampere, uh, ampere hours Our, yeah. lithium batteries with the 105 lithium. You can do hours. about the same. Uh, uh, lifespan wise, eh, the, the lead battery, it's qu very cheap, but you will not uh, be able to deplete it that much. Eh? No. Uh, around three and f to four hundred cycles yeah. at, at 50 percent if yeah. you are and that's only if you maintain your battery perfect yeah. let's so if keep you that always, in mind if you never go uh, under yeah. this 50 yeah. percent yeah and then uh, a lithium ion battery it's uh, 1000 cycles which you can deplete 100 yeah. percent so and with lithium ion keep in mind if you say 1000 cycles that means from zero to 100 yeah. so 1000 cycles let's in Give fishing days, calculation. <laughs> that's about three years of fishing days. Yeah, if you're charging uh, every day. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I don't know how much fishing days you have in a year, but. And that's even average. I think if you would really use it for three years on a time, it would still be working. I just think your um, capacity would drop a little, but I don't think your battery is going to be no, dead. It will not be gone indeed. No. Um, and then, of course, the lithium iron phosphate, uh, which is getting more and more popular. Yeah is uh, indeed uh, six years of fishing. Yeah. <laughs> six years of fishing that's yeah. uh, not bad no so in the end eh, if you still have your back after six years yeah if, you, if lead, you look uh, at the total cost of ownership uh, yeah. <laughs> in the end it I know might, I would be, buy. Uh, might be even uh, cheaper or yeah it will be cheaper it will be, be cheaper more interesting cheaper uh, less hassle um, yeah. and maybe safer yeah. let's see yeah maybe, maybe. maybe. Yeah. Um, then uh, I will remove this uh, overlay yeah. overlay again voila okay so hi greg so if there are questions regarding the batteries please don't hesitate uh we can go on yeah if you on. have experience uh, good or bad with batteries put them in the chat you can comment on them or uh, try to explain what happened yeah indeed um then uh, another question is why 
if you if you look at the lithium iron phosphate batteries why is uh, what are, are, are that many price differences between yeah. brands you mean then you can buy a cheap one on uh, Ali, yeah. uh, in china very cheap yeah. and then if you have a local one produced it's it's a bit yeah it's more all expensive. It, it all comes down to the same uh, idea it's the it's the building materials and y your components every component that you put in the price the uh, depends the total price of your battery so if you use really good quality components it's going to be uh, uh, pricier and especially with the cells uh, yeah. you know the differences of cells so indeed. maybe you can talk a yeah. lot about the difference in cells indeed so it's it's all it's all also a matter of the quality of the cells you have uh, a plus quality a1 quality a quality and b quality yeah uh, a lot of uh, let's say cheaper lithium iron phosphate brands or batteries are made with this b uh, quality this b quality is is it's working nicely but the difference there is that the during production process they found some some uh, small deviations from what it should be to be yeah. a, a quality and like uh, internal um, resistance, resistance or a yeah. bit of voltage difference in between the cells yeah and it means that you will probably uh, not feel it in the beginning or see it in the beginning but after a while you might uh, notice it in the yeah. lifespan of the unit yeah, maybe you're gonna lose some capacity yeah. then or maybe uh, after instead of 2000 cycles you only get 1800 cycles yeah. out Oof. of it yeah damn it maybe Six, uh, yeah yeah but uh, if it, it comes uh, yeah. if you if you calculate okay, okay. how much it costs you the, yeah, yeah okay well, it could be uh, yeah and then also um yeah you have the, the casings some use a really thin casing use a little bit of foam between the yeah. casing and themselves then they have uh, the really good brands they use uh, a holder to put in the cells they don't just tape the cells they use a holder or they fill the complete uh, yeah, battery with resin yeah with resin it's that's the uh, best of all no yeah. movement whatsoever no, uh, shock uh, very shock yeah. absorbent because you see when they attach the cells they uh, point weld it yeah. So, so you get a good connection without using too much heat because that's the danger of the cells. If you want yeah. to solder it and you use heat on it, it's not a really not good the idea. the best idea. Yeah. Okay, um, then uh, what for me is also a, a, a big advantage of these lithium, uh, let's say lithium, yeah, lithium. Um, batteries is that you can read out the state in your uh, pump. Yeah? Every time you are on the water, at any moment you can see I have still 50% or 25% of my battery left or uh, I have to stop fishing or maybe I should put you down uh, or shut down uh, two screens or yeah, something yeah, yeah. just to save some energy. Uh, yeah, it's all info you get that you can uh, you can think about. Yeah, Greg made a nice comment and oh. I understand what you mean, Greg, um, but we see it a lot of times that people want to show their nice bot and reels. Everybody can see that. But nobody yeah. sees what's beneath in your boat yeah. from cells or from uh, batteries. If you have a, like a casing like this one, a battery casing like this one, and it's uh, a cheap one made in, in yeah, China, China yeah. or a, a nicely, very good quality one, yeah, I don't think you will see it that fast on the outside. No, no, uh, no. But in the internal components might be, uh, might be a huge Yeah, difference. but I, I think Greg means why do people don't spend a lot of money on their batteries when they do spend a lot of money oh, on their rods and reels? Yeah, that's because you don't see it. You don't see it. People think, yeah, I need yeah. a battery. I need a battery that can take me fishing for 10 hours. And yeah. that's it. And especially in the boat, uh, yeah. it's beneath the deck. So actually, yeah. nobody sees it. But if they talk with somebody who can give them a, an... Uh, yeah. A good explanation of what and why you yeah. need something indeed they see that they change their minds uh, fast um, where are we uh, yeah the we bluetooth we're yeah. saying we will uh, one of the biggest van advantages is that we can read out the state yeah. of the the battery hey, I, we have here four uh, batteries Diff different batteries uh, yeah. on the table uh, and we can, can connect them, yeah. and we would s we would uh, be able to see the state yeah. of every battery even if they are in a casing or if they are beneath deck uh, in the in the boat yeah. yeah and that's also one of the reasons you asked for the the different in price a good yeah. bms that's a really good component has the bluetooth cell in it or the bluetooth uh, sensor in it but then you have the difference between the cheaper brands they use a generic app um yeah. that every uh, yeah battery uses and then the more uh, the better brands the the domestic brands they use their own developed app yeah. with more uh, info on it and they can Indeed. tweak things they can change things alter things that we also want. sometimes we see that uh, some uh, brands don't even have the bluetooth function yeah but only the small display well, it's yeah uh, it's, it's okay, okay. Uh, display okay, is okay but 
Yeah. If it's uh, down there in your boat, you yeah. don't want to creep in there every time. Yeah. I have a, uh, a small movie about uh, how it looks like when you want to read out the uh, amperages uh, that your or the, the state of your battery. Yeah. A little, uh, so here you can sample. see one of our batteries is a 41% uh, charge. It has a voltage of 13 volts. It's capacity of 125 ampere hours. You can see it's now drawing zero minus 7.1 ampere and it uh, at 7.8 degrees only has 15 cycles. Well, the video is uh, very fast. I cannot talk that fast. Yeah. Um, only 15 cycles. Uh, how yeah. long is that battery in there? <laughs> yeah, but uh, I don't know. But uh, maybe you want, we want to see it again. Yeah, just show Let's it again. Let's try it, see again. it again. Uh, I am fiddling a bit with it. But it's nice to know that information. Even if you, you sell the battery because maybe you don't have enough capacity and you want to sell the battery, you can show the second-hand buyer how, how new it is. Yeah, how new yeah. it is, how much time you have used it. You can say, yeah, 15 cycles. It's a battery that can use up to 2,000 cycles. It's brand new. Huh? Yeah, it's brand new. Yeah. So that's this. Um, then, uh, one, uh, let's say... Uh, downfall. Um, downfall. Or maybe an... Uh, the difficulty we have with the lithium batteries is that they, uh, some people want to use their boat battery as a starter for their uh, outboard. Yeah. Uh, and with lithium batteries, that is, this is not always uh, possible. It is possible, but not every brand supports it yeah. and not, e not every uh, engine That's it. wants That's to, it. Uh, can, can so start on lithium. Uh, what is the difficulty on the battery? Maybe you can explain. Yeah, you need a lot of amp uh, um, you need amps, a lot of power, amps, you need a lot of power, you need a lot of amps in a short period of time. So your BMS has to be uh, calculated for that, that the, the power draw can, can yeah. be done. 100 amp amps, yeah. for example. And your cells need to be able to give that also. Yeah. A little small battery, uh, like, like uh, uh, this is 28, I think. Yeah, yeah 28. It's, it's difficult for a small battery like that. It's possible, it's possible, yeah. but it's going to be easier with a bigger battery because you have mm -hmm. more cells to divide it on. So then why are certain brands or why do we see also lithium batteries uh, used in, uh, as a starter? Is because their BMS is yeah, it's, made, for it's it. made for it. They yeah. can give this huge amount of current in a short time, yeah. which is not why we primarily use lithium batteries. No, this we use it for the, the, the duration. More like the characteristic, the characteristic of, a, of a lead battery. Yeah, yeah. But if they are able to do it for short periods of time, yeah. that's better. Yeah, indeed, indeed. Um, so uh, then let's say the engine also needs to be built for it. So, yeah. so if you have a new engine, if you buy a new engine, some uh, manufacturers, they uh, they void, they say that your warranty is voided if you use a lithium battery. To start your battery. engine. Yeah. Um, that's one thing. And also the the engine, if you use electric starter, your engine will, during its, when it's running, it will also charge your battery. Yeah. With a lead battery, this is quite known and quite uh, Com common and it's a huge cap most of yeah, 60 ampere hours or something it's quite a huge uh, or a big uh, uh, battery Charging, so yeah. it the engine can give its current to the battery and uh, this is let's say healthy for the engine it, it wants to give a, yeah, a constant amount of current or power to the battery but with the, if you have a small lithium uh, battery and they only use this one as a starter then the, the lithium battery can be uh, full the BMS will shut, shut down, down the, sh the, st the charging and your engine will not, let's say, uh, it cannot release its current. Yeah. And this might be um, a problem that you're, you will have some electrical problems with the engine. It, it can even break down. It's a possibility. Yeah. Yeah. One brother, yeah. If you are using a small lithium um, uh, battery. battery as a starter, I would always recommend to use uh, some uh, something like this. Show it in it's the camera, uh, maybe. A Cirrus Cirrus, it's a starting relay or a, a battery re relay yeah. uh, from Victron. Um, and what does this do? It will measure the voltage of your small lithium battery. And once the battery is full enough, it will release or it will open yeah, it will uh, the relay. The power. And then the current can also go to another a t a t a second battery. And this yeah. can be a lithium battery as well. Yeah. So we use this in our boat. It's uh, working quite well. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, a, a, it's a nice yeah. option. It's safe to have it. It's better yeah. for your batteries in, in the long term. So at the moment we use this actually, but we are now going to change. It's not uh, for one or other reason. We are just going to change our batteries yeah. and we will uh, install a, a, a big, a big uh, lithium accu, uh, a battery, sorry, yeah. uh, just back. to be able that it can withstand this, uh, this uh, starting. Uh, yeah, and we, we needed more power also. So yeah. that's, that's good, it's good to have it there. 
the change you did to our boat for loading battery is perfect and helpful for location fishing. Oh yeah, and yeah, yeah. Steven, we did, I think it was even with two um, Cirexes, uh, let's say battery relays, where we have, yeah, you can compare it a bit with uh, 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 two buckets of water. When yeah. one is full, it will uh, flood and it will just go in the next one. Yeah. So you can uh, compare it a bit with Communicating that. vessels. We, yeah, we did it with uh, indeed your boat, Steven. That's nice. Thank you for the com compliment and the comment. Yeah, power is really uh, important on board. Yeah. You need it. Yeah, and if your if your engine is is uh, generating this power, why not? Use yeah, why it not use it to yeah. charge your batteries? Yeah, yeah. that's completely um, true. One reason why we, you would not uh, use it is that sometimes the the alternator in your engine can cause yeah. some. Uh, noise on site imaging uh, yeah but then you're using your battery as a starter and on your uh, fish finders i would never do that no no but uh, indeed that's a need uh, if without a separator you yeah, can yeah, but there sometimes are ways to do uh, it. let's say simple uh, installations yeah, yeah, yeah. like this uh, one let uh, battery for yeah, example for everything uh, for everything uh, how many how many go off with starting your motor what is uh, what do you mean with this question how many you need to how many your motor? Uh, amperage? I think it's like 120 amp hours for 10 seconds you need to go start. Yeah, but that, it also difficult. depends on the motor. Yeah, it depends on the engine. Yeah, uh, yeah. If you have a, a 25 horsepower. Uh, but I would never do it um, if the manufacturer doesn't put it in their manual yeah. because you're going to avoid your warranty. But and they yeah, will know. <laughs> but if it's an older engine, you, you really don't don't really. No, but only from the o the old engine. But I mean from the the battery manufacturer. If you use a battery that's not suited to start, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, indeed, indeed, indeed. and then they go and know. Yeah, from start battery 50 horsepower. So you want to know what lithium battery you want to use for a 50 horsepower. Uh, you can use engine. a 50 amp hour lithium. Uh, I don't know. We have you have to check the the specs. Yeah, it's not always. Uh, you cannot always say that uh, as as from. Um, this uh, type of battery. Yeah, no, it depends on the cell and uh, especially on the BMS they used. Yeah. I have the the this one as I showed you, says uh, Paul. Yeah. Uh, uh, Forty-five pounds back troller uh, within three hours empty. Yeah, that's difficult to. Uh, a lot of people yeah. say that yeah, I can only can go fishing two hours or three hours with my battery. It always depends what you do. I can use yeah. a back troller for ten hours on that battery, but not at full power. No, indeed, it's uh, indeed. For us, calculating the, um, but we will go into calculating yeah, a little bit later. later yeah. um, if a customer asked, I have this front roller or this electrical engine, I want to go fishing for a whole day, what do I need? Um, this is very difficult to calculate. Yeah, we, we generally ask, uh, what type of fishing do you yeah. do? Uh, if it, is it trolling on the electrical engine? Is it uh, uh, just uh, spot lock? Yeah, uh, vertical fishing, vertical fishing, pelagic makes fishing. A huge difference uh, yeah. on the current that is used. But you, you have the, uh, you can use the specs to calculate. Then yeah. you know one value, and then you have the experience that we have with going fishing and doing ourselves yeah. how long and how much <laughs> amperes you will need. Indeed, yeah. uh, generally we install uh, as from 100 amper hours for a, a big boat with a front roller. Uh, this is a bit the. <laughs> the standard yeah. oh my god somebody is in the chat it's my girlfriend the birthday boy on the right in two days yeah uh, that might be me then yeah okay maybe someday it will come in years of uh, wisdom <laughs> <laughs> you might think so uh, so paul you actually have a, 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 um, um, a let's say a, the, the the briefcase or how yeah. you call it this Suitcase. one but the case it has outdoor case it has internally it has this uh, batteries and indeed you have two of them now and you can uh, put in some more. This is indeed uh, extendable. They, uh, you can put as uh, uh, a lot of these batteries in uh, parallel. Let me uh, go over that in the and then behind the brake also. And increase your capacity. So uh, you you still need to fix me a gift. Yeah, of course. That's oh, our present is a big enough gift for him. Uh, <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, and uh, Christophe, he also says hip hip hurrah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, Maybe um, we went over all the stuff, I think, in the first, first half. half. Uh, is a, a lithium iron phosphate more efficient than the lithium ion battery the due to voltage. the higher voltage? Indeed. So um, we will also and, uh, explain this a bit uh, later on. Yeah. Um, let me come back uh, yeah. on this one. We will explain uh, it. We'll explain once it, no we problem. talk about calculating the 
what you need uh, or, or calculating the, the yeah the we, will sell, we will show the different may, or maybe you can show now you have the the video you can see the different components of the battery yeah he dismantled it maybe you can use that again to show what's the difference in the voltage also then ah yeah but yeah but we can do that really see the difference in the voltage right well yeah the different cells more cells yeah but i think it's uh, because a lithium iron phosphate uh, once it's uh, it's uh, uh, decharging let's yeah, say yeah it doesn't the voltage yeah, yeah, yeah. does not drop that's that what you mean okay yeah, yeah. and then you can use it longer, yeah. yeah i thought it went higher yeah. voltage because okay but we are going into a break yeah uh, now so first thing is uh, i will just give you uh, one more a uh, nice video of my last trip with Ward and his son where we found some crazy Xander. Apparently uh, Xander tried three times to take oh, a bait them. and the third time was a charm for Leo. Uh, it was a really big Xander, he told yeah. us. Uh, you can see Just the Xander attacking three times. You can see that on the live scope. Yeah. <laughs> and it does not take the bait. It must be a huge Xander. Yeah! Has it. He's very happy with it. this yeah, huge, huge, huge Xander. <laughs> 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 really hard. <hot>. Lift up. <laughs> like yes, this. you can see that on a live scope. <laughs> yeah. Oof. Big one. All right. So then we go to the break time. So what do you what do you need to do in the break time? If you don't have an account yet, you make an account. You uh, follow our channel. That's one thing. After the break, we do a giveaway. So if you want to also be able to uh, compete for the giveaway. You need to be to have an account, um, so that's one. That's another thing. And then I will show you the complete video of our last trip with uh, uh, Wart and his son, uh, and during the break. So yeah. maybe one thing you can show before the break is the awesome thing you made um, for our really die-hard fans who have take a, took a subscription on our yeah, channel. Indeed, you made something really cool. So maybe you can show it. You can uh, if you subscribe to, on our channel. You have some extra emoticons. Uh, it's called emotes in Twitch, and this is uh, this. Uh, I will send them now. Especially uh, the first one. The first one is the best. It's Obi, yeah. of course. I will make some more of Obi. Uh, it's our boat dog, uh, White Shepherd. He is also here. I will just lift him up because he's sleeping. Come here, oh. come here, come here, come here. Oh, he's so happy. He's, he's, so <laughs> he's angry that you woke him up. Oh, look, this boy. <laughs> Small little dog on the boat. Small little dog on the boat. Yeah. Uh, no, you cannot <laughs> do the giveaway yet, Steven. It will be. And you will not get Obi. Maybe yeah. for one day you can. Yeah. Or more. Uh, more really. <laughs> yeah, uh, you just went to break. Little wait for the giveaway. Indeed. Yeah. So enjoy the break uh, video and uh, we'll see you guys after the break. Uh, we'll see you back after the break. Bye.
We are back again. Welcome back. I the short break. The short break indeed with the, the small movie. There was some uh, action I see on in the, the chat. chat. Yeah. Yeah, we drive two hours, uh, yeah. Paul. Uh, Ooh, we have a new uh, subscriber. Uh, we also a have bonnie? a bonnie. Uh, a bonnie indeed. That's Greg. Yes, that's Greg. Greg, can you try to use Obi? Try Show me the emoji. The Obi emote. And then Groningen, somebody is living in Groningen indeed, also a lot of driving there to go to the Holland Zee, for example. Matthias, indeed, we live for it. And, uh, That's our uh, is, passion. Is, is great. Ah, there he is. There he is, <laughs> Obi. Uh, and then Steven asks, is, is this uh, our drone? Indeed, it's, uh, it's uh, Louis' drone, yeah, yeah. but I'm uh, lending it. Sweet Obi, indeed. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, uh, after if every break, every uh, live stream, we do the... Um, the talk, uh, tackle talk and the giveaway so i ask my guest every time to bring something uh, which he wants to present which is new in the tackling angling world or something so jeffrey go ahead what i will go into my basement today? in your basement. second and i brought with you for you and for the guys today the new line from hearty rice the predator wx8 okay it's the pe line it's brand new it just came in i think 14th of January, 10th of January, just before the Angle Messe in Doisburg. It's that new it. that's not even on my website. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can so buy it already, but it's not on the website. But yeah, yeah, okay. So, but I brought it to give it away. Um, we use it now, I think, two or three times. Three sessions. Yes. Yeah, three sessions. And it's, yeah, it's good. It's good. It's really smooth. It's really smooth. Um, the power is there. Um, okay, three sessions is not enough to know everything about it yet. But I, I can stand behind it. Um, I, li I really like it. Yeah. You, you see a lot of brands coming out with their own line now, uh, but it, it's a good thing for us, us anglers. Indeed. We need better lines. So, so this is um, the 0 0.12 millimeters. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so it draws 8.2 kilograms. So that's uh, already a nice sander. Yeah. So if you want to win this, uh, show it in the camera give maybe. it away. Uh, on the giveaway, I will start it up uh, soon. You don't have to type it yet. Um, but uh, and afterwards it will also be available on the website uh, to, to fish. We have a different um, uh, think diameter. Yeah, I think from 0 0.06 to 0 0.12. That's the smallest one, 0 0.06. Yeah. Uh, so for maybe for street fishing. Yeah, but yeah. that's uh, it's cool. And we use this one, 0 0.12, for vertical or pelagic fishing. Yeah. So I will start the, the giveaway. So it's a universal. Uh, you can use it for a lot of uh, uh, kinds of fishing. Um, and a good thing about it is uh, the spool is 150 meters. So um, if you do a long cast and you lose a few meters every time, you can use it for a long time. Maybe mm -hmm. turn it around even. Voila, so Greg Put is already here. entering the, the giveaway. giveaway. Yeah. Okay, back to the, the, day, the day's topics. Yeah, which is the batteries. The batteries. Um, one of the, uh, let's say the factors of your uh, capacity or the power draw the, uh, from the battery is also the brightness of your screens. So yeah. if you are going fishing a lot at night, you will probably put down the brightness of your screen and it has a huge impact. Um, on your fishing on your lifespan. On your, indeed, on your, well, on your battery, battery uh, yeah. um, capacity. Um, 
so you might notice that at night you you use a lot less power yeah. than during the day so i made a small uh, movie about this one yeah to see the difference to in real time indeed so here we are on my boat you can actually see that i'm using 7.1 amperes and i'm putting down the brightness and i'm going to around 5 amperes so but that's a lot eh? Two that's amperes. a lot Two amperes, amperes, uh, but of course it's for all the garmin gps maps which are in network so this yeah uh, the <laughs> there were uh, more, more than one screen yeah, that was uh, uh, dimming indeed there yeah but you, see, you can see it made a lot made a lot of difference in, in your total fishing time yeah yeah um, um. then this was this then uh if you are selecting a battery yeah you i get a lot of the uh, times i get the question i am uh, buying a, a garmin echo map yeah I, I need a battery for it what battery do i need yeah um, m my first question is how long do you want to fish yeah and what kind of what type of fishing do you do well it's not that really depending for the fish finders it's not that really uh, dependent eh? no no true, true, if true. it's uh, on its own uh, but indeed for the front rollers it's a uh, yeah, huge different difference thing. yeah uh, we told it in the beginning of the episode um if you're only doing spot lock uh, you will probably not uh, use a lot of juice if you are trolling with your battery and but you electric engine, yeah. you will use a lot of battery and you will need... Or a lot some of boats only so use their electric engine to go around little yeah, Zodiacs. Indeed. So for your fish finder, if you want to uh, calculate how much you need, or if you want me to calculate, I do it uh, normally uh, for... Uh, but you can find it everything online. Yeah. You can go to Garmin there. We want to use Garmin as an example now. You can go to the Garmin website, look up your fish finder, like an Echo map or a GPS map. And if you go to specifications, you'll see how much uh, amper, uh, amps it draws on 12 volts. And mm. that's uh, important to know if it's on 12 volts or 24 volts, yeah. because it makes a difference. It makes a difference indeed. Mostly it's uh, 12 volts. Uh, put in 12 volts indeed. And Paul says, I have a 40 amper hours lithium, lithium battery. I'm easily making uh, 10 hours with uh, an Ultra yeah. 102. And that means 30 that indeed. you use less than four amps in an hour. Yeah. That's an easy calculation. Easy calculation. Actually, we will use this uh, example later on yeah. uh, as a calculation. Uh, but also another tip, if you want to use, know what um, power uh, you draw uh, or consumption. consumption your unit is uh, having, you can just type in Google um, uh, GPS map 923 XSV power draw. Yeah. If you use this, then you You'll probably end up in a 100 uh, answers. <laughs> a website somewhere on the net or a forum, and you will have the, the exact amount there. Yeah. And that's the most of the time they say what the maximum is, so yep. you can go from a worst case experience. But just let's uh, do a small calculation, just yeah. as an example. You um, have a I have the chalk. I have, for example, my 102 SV Echo Map, yeah. um, which is according I think the specification is using 2.8 amps. Yeah, on 12 volts. On 12 volts, indeed. Then I also have my live scope which is with the black box using around 0.75 amps. Yeah. Then, I'm, this is my, let's say, these are my users. So I just need to uh, add them up. Add yeah. them up. And this is around uh, three and a half, three and a half. 3.55, yeah. Amps. Yeah. Three and a half, half, uh, half hours. How long does your fishing ses session is? let's say 10 hours let's say it's also for mine for are usually longer but i think the most people go fishing for a day and that's about 10 hours so i need 3.5 amps for 10 hours straight so it means I easy need calculation capacity yeah wow thank you for the 10 hours. yeah it made it easy for you <laughs> my, my, my i uh, use 9.654 <laughs> hours yes, of fishing my uh, average fishing day is 9.65 uh, hours so that's uh, 35 uh, in hours. optimal conditions and that's really important Indeed. to know so what do you do so this is theoretical so i will add a safety margin and i will do it here because right. i'm at the end of my screen let's say 20 percent safety margin so well, safety margin well, like this is uh, around 42 uh, 42 amps hours am i still in the screen you're still in the screen yes, i can see the i am still in the screen so yeah so 42, I don't think really there is one out there at 42. I think it's 50. You're going to have to buy it. Yeah. So let's say 50 amp hour just to be safe. And yep. you're definitely going to be safe. So for this, let's say for with this battery, which is a Yaro cell, 50 amp hour yep. uh, battery, I can fish my whole day with my 
102 SV with, with the live scope. scope. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or if I'm just using my 102 SV, I have this battery, which is Yaro cells, uh, 25, uh, 28, 28 amper hours uh, capacity battery. I can fish 10 hours with it. If I later choose to add a, a live scope, I have another one. I can put them in parallel. I have double capacity. Yeah, you can use them differently. You can yeah. put one on the live scope on one. And you can oh put yeah, that's also true. You can connect one to or, uh, the other to. You can put them on different spots in your boat. That's also yeah. also something we see that people yeah. want. Or with the uh, with the belly boats, you can yeah. put one in the pockets. Uh, in, in the pockets, indeed. So this is. Uh, that's a nice example of a calculation. And you, yeah, if you have more components, you just add the components. Uh, you add them all up, and then you do it. If your fishing trip is twenty hours, if you go really long, yeah, you have to double it. Yeah. Yeah. For example, if you're going on holiday, you want to know for sure that you're gonna ha have enough uh, capacity. Yeah. Uh, so dimming your screen could be uh, a possibility. But yeah, during the day, if you if you don't see it, you, yeah. Then yeah. You, yeah, you might might have as well put shut them down. Eh? Nice to know this calculation. Yeah, yeah that's, that's why did we put it but here. But just remember, you use the twenty percent, and e I think even in winter time, that's not enough. If yeah. you are going in a belly boat in minus two, three degrees, your capacity is going to drop a little. Well, it depends as well for lithium ion. We, we, yeah. r we really see all this difference. Yeah, I don't really think it's for for lithium ion uh, phosphate. phosphate. Yeah, this difference is uh, that high. Yeah. But you have your 20% and then you have 50 amps, so you have a little bit more, you have another 20% there. So yeah. Just as a, an extra, let's also just right, yeah, uh, sure. describe, uh, go to the top cam again, describe what is a series and what is parallel. Just, I don't, I don't know, you don't need to be physics. Uh, of engineers. Engineers or whatever. <laughs> Who's an engineer? Yeah, okay. Um, to engineers, just to just know this, if you, there are two types to connect multiple batteries. It's a series connection or parallel. Uh, series means you put one, uh, if this is a plus and your minus, you two put two batteries. Am I still on the screen? Yeah, it's on the screen. You can go uh, all like the way this. here. Well, so that means if this is 12 volts, That's this 12. is 12 volts, you will have 24 volts uh, battery. Yeah. We use this with lead batteries uh, for for, yeah. for trolling motors. And if it's 12 volt 50 amps and 12 volt 50 amps, you have 24 50, 50 amps. Indeed. Parallel is, uh, is different. You it's just the opposite. It's the opposite, yeah, but I don't know if you're really into this electricity stuff. This is your plus, your min, minus, plus, minus. It means now your uh, voltage in the end is will remain 12 volts. But? But you will have, you will have doubled your capacity. Yeah. And this is interesting. Uh, Maybe they have 100 and that's it. If they are 50, 50 yeah, amps battery. Indeed. So this is uh, fish for longer. And here you can use a higher voltage if you have a trolling engine that uses 24 volt. Yeah, sorry, I was back to the front. Uh, yeah, sorry. Again, yeah, so uh, no point uh, in the pointing. series. Yeah, um, no point in pointing. Yeah. Nice plan. Nice. Uh, yeah, next. This was it. Okay, yeah. so and then um, what could be said as well for uh, LED, this is really easy. You can put LED batteries in a series yeah, as, parallel, parallel, yeah. uh, as you want. They don't just really make care. that you charge them before you yeah. add them together yeah. at the end. But in the end, if you want, would not do it, they will level out. Level yeah. out and yeah. then in the end, it will but be just, okay. Just do it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's better to do it. Um, uh, but for lithium uh, batteries, this is not always uh, possible. Serious, serious uh, connection with lithium batteries, we don't really recommend. BMSs are not always uh, made for this. No. And parallel uh, connection is uh, is done quite often. Yeah. Uh, but it's the same. Boat, we have it now. Yeah. L just look into your uh, battery. Just check with the manufacturer. Yeah. They will if say what has happened. If it's doable, yeah. yeah. Sometimes they, you have to change something also. Yeah. The internal so capacity. In our boat now, at the moment, we have uh, two times 125 amp hours uh, lithium uh, iron phosphate from the RF cell batteries. We will change this just uh, because we are now changing changing to a full Yaro cell setup. Yeah. So it will be a 312 volt, um, a 12 volt 300. Yeah. Amp so per 50 hours. more amps uh, to. 50 more amps for the live streaming uh, system because this drinks a lot of juice. Yes, yes, it does. Um, so that's parallel and series. Yeah. I think that's. Let's check the total use of our boat as a worthy 
Uh, normally, uh, Paul, I don't think so. You only draw 0 0.7 amps from that battery. It will not become hot. No, it will not become hot. From, for this current. But normally, that's not a problem. They, uh, they, uh, hot is, is, is it's, uh, how do you say, what is hot? A battery will get hot if you yeah. draw power from it, but it's, it has an internal, the, the BMS will uh, regulate it. If you go too high, it would shut it down. Indeed. It's a safety feature on it. Uh, let's go to the total usage for our boat. This is 9.8 amp hours. This uh, no for one battery. For one battery. Yeah. So this is a uh, GPS 923XV, an 8412XSV, a Solix 10, a another 923XSV from Garmin, and uh, Apex. front an Apex 16, two live scopes and a PS30, and the full live streaming software. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. A total and the, and the lights of the boat. The lights of the boat. Yeah, the internal lights. So uh, a total of around 20 amps. Uh, in an hour <laughs> is needed so i need uh almost one of this battery and that's only for the electronics that's the not hour. even the the front roller no this is the <laughs> is indeed another battery yeah, that's a lot of power but yeah and it goes fast if you yeah. add things then let's briefly discuss chargers uh, yeah what, that's really uh, important uh, also that's really important indeed we also have loads of questions about this one what is an optimal charger uh, what are the different chargers um Let's say for a, a lithium battery, your charger need to be adapted for lithium battery. Yeah, it has a different, um, how you say, the paragraph, I don't know the word. A curve. Yeah, the, the it's the... Um, curve. The curve. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the different charging, graph. The charging uh, cycle. It takes under different stages, different stages of uh, that battery. So this should be uh, monitored and should be correct for your battery. Yeah. Um, we have... Uh, regular regular uh, chargers which is, which is just something like this yeah uh, which you can put in your garage and just when you come home you connect your battery to it and it will charge we have built-in waterproof chargers yeah ip68 um, yeah and um, this is very interesting if you would go a lot of holiday or your boat is in the harbor you can just put yeah or if you have diff a lot of different batteries in your boat you don't yeah. have to yeah, you don't have to fiddle with uh, yeah, the uh, chargers. Put with 20 volt in your boat and you can... Yeah, that's it. So this is always different. The, of course, the waterproof ones are more expensive. Yeah, they're a bit more expensive. Mm, there is also a difference in the, the f how fast your charger yeah. will charge a battery. So sometimes they charge with 10 amps. Sometimes you can even charge with 40 amps. Uh, yeah. It means that you know, for 100 ampere hour big battery, you're in four hours, theoretically, your battery is full again and you can yeah. go fishing again but every four hours. Not every battery can be charged at that capacity. You have to check again yep. with Indeed. your battery that you have. Specifications. Uh, or ask your uh, dealer. dealer. Yeah. <laughs> they, they probably can uh, give you good advice on the yeah. chargers. Uh, one one um, very important thing is that uh, lithium batteries are uh, don't like to be charged uh, below zero degrees. Uh, yeah, you can damage uh, the cells. Uh, the temperature of zero degrees uh, Celsius. So um, yeah, if you charge them in your boat shack and it's freezing, don't do it. No. Charge them in your garage or remove the charger and don't charge them when it's freezing. Yeah, charge indeed. them during the daytime. Yeah. So uh, a trick there could be that you if you if it's your front roller battery, you can. Uh, for example, first run a bit your front roller. The current that is drawn from the battery will increase heat. the heat of yeah. the, the battery. You can see it in the app. And then when it's above zero degrees, let's say five degrees, you can uh, start charging it, it, it again. Yeah. And the charge itself will also generate some uh, yeah. some uh, heat. Uh, so the battery is safe. But I would safe. take no chances. I would do it in the daytime. It's not freezing. Or some batteries have some uh, nice features they have in the indeed uh, the heater inside and if you start charging it it measures the temperature of the temperature of the battery if it's below zero degrees it'll first heat up the battery using indeed. the current so it's a bit the all weather or arctic yeah. battery yeah it will uh, there's an inter internal heater which will uh, heat up your battery so charging is safe can the, the lpo4 the also uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kept, uh, yes indeed so all the the three batteries here are the are uh, lithium iron phosphate and we can see them with the the application this only this one it's a uh, the high uh, capacity cells, high capacity lithium ion battery and this is uh, it's also with a, an application but it's a separate application as the other three ones yep. uh, you, that's what you said every every battery has its use this one is really small really light to use in compact spaces and has a lot of juice inside of it indeed so 
to almost conclude the live stream. We are about one hour busy, yeah. so that's nice on schedule. It was difficult um, with calculations and everything. Yeah, yeah, with calculations. Uh, we are still, uh, we still need to talk about the dangers of, uh, with I, I should yeah. put some theo yeah, big some cinematography and uh, the theoretical yeah, and some theoretical lightning, and lightning uh, stuff, the dangers of battery. Um, so what are the dangers of, battery, of batteries? Let's start with the LED uh, battery we all know. Um, I ha have an, uh, a movie. an example. No, it's not a movie, it's, it's just a, a photo. Um, a picture. A picture of okay. uh, s the battery we have. Uh, a battery, oh, it's not on the live stream. No, this is, this is possible. It will come, it will come. It's a little uh, slow-mo. Yeah, okay. You can see it there. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, the it's oh, there. there. it is, okay. Um, show us the fun. Yeah, yeah. wait for this to interrupt. I, I, I kind of... Um, Keep it as a teaser. He gave it away. Uh, yeah. uh, um, but uh, this is a picture of uh, a, a battery. A lead acid um, battery. A lead acid battery, indeed. I We took this picture in an, uh, uh, a polyester boat. So it's uh, um, just a, yeah, a plastic uh, boat, not an aluminium boat. And this battery was behind some... Um, Who's that then? Screws? No, it was a, a lid. Oh yeah, yeah, the lid so of the boat. The, yeah. This was, uh, was uh, fixed with screws. Of bolts. Uh, uh, the screws were... Uh, through the the this, the wall or where the battery was, and they were touching the battery. Yeah. Now, uh, what is um, the danger with the boat? It has a lot of vibrations. Yeah. So this uh, screw was touching the battery. You can the see the damage time. on the battery. There. You can see the damage of the battery, indeed. So if it would have been a bit longer, probably the screw would have punctured the battery. Yeah. The lead acid would uh, come into your boat. Come out of the the battery and come in your boat and i think with the polyester boat it probably would go just through and through after a while yeah but not not in the first hour or so no. but in the long run you're going to have damage into your polyester yeah. and then you have going to have a hole in your boat indeed. so this is a bit the dangers also if you could lift the battery again oh again uh, i'm doing it on purpose i just yes. i don't really want to show anything uh, no but here uh, on these batteries sometimes there's a hole, small hole it uh, it's needed to um, to let uh, fumes exit the battery. Yeah, because the battery, when it gets hot, it will expand. Yeah, that's just regular uh, physics. And uh, But the danger here is also if you don't um, fix these batteries on your boat with a, a strap or something, that the, the they can tip. If they tip, the lead acid can leave yeah. the battery. In, in this case, it can. You also have gel batteries to prevent that, but yeah. just don't uh, use it. Photo set for. Ah, yeah, indeed. Sorry, sorry. Indeed. Ah, yeah. yeah. So Good that you say it. Thank you, uh, Paul. So I'll show it doing. again. Here is a tiny little hole um, that they use to yeah to remove the fumes from the battery, and yeah, it also can leak through this hole. Yeah, indeed. So this is a uh, yeah one of the dangers. So always, if you're using using a lead battery, uh, actually for every, every battery, battery, just uh, fix it. Fix it yeah. uh, on your boat uh, that it's um, stuck, that it cannot jump around. Uh, You'll see why in a little bit yeah. also. <laughs> And then we come to the next one. What is, are the dangers of uh, lithium batteries? And so we we have talked about uh, lithium ion batteries and lithium ion phosphate. Yeah. Um, lithium ion phosphate it, it cannot burn. It's yeah. easy. You can the components you just can damage burn. it and it will never burn. Uh, that's just the way it's it, uh, it's, it's like a stony. Stony cannot burn either. Um, so it's just. Yeah. But then the lithium ion battery. If you would puncture it and it's charged very well, for example, the beginning of your uh, fishing day, it will burn. I think everybody has seen the, the burning uh, Tesla. Uh, Tesla. <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say the names, the, the brands, but yeah. the electrical cars, uh, if they start to burn, the one, s one cell will set off the other and yeah. you will, it can burn for days and you cannot extinguish it. Yes, like I said, the brand doesn't matter. It's the type of cell yeah, it is. Yeah. Indeed. So uh, if you're using lithium ion uh, batteries, be aware that they can burn. And um, you cannot. Uh, yeah, put out the fire. Yeah. You just can't. I did a small experiment um, uh, earlier this week, and where I have damaged an, a cell. It's only one cell of a 50 amp hours uh, battery, uh, lithium iron battery. It was uh, there were 40 uh, around 40 or something about of these uh, small cells in the in the battery. Um, I must say I was a bit surprised. Uh, you can never never extinguish it. It goes so fast. Your boat is gone before you know it. The yeah. only thing you can do is jump in the water. Yeah, jump in the water and just make make yourself into safety or go into safety. And yeah. uh, but of course, we we must also uh, say uh, 
I don't know if you guys have heard about a lot of lithium ion batteries or boats with lithium ion batteries that burn down. I must say I have never. So yeah, but because manufacturers make it safer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It can I, I to to get to the cell I have to break down the complete yeah. um, uh, co side of the of the battery. So it's not easy to get those cells damaged. That's of course. Yeah, but you just think to know when you crash your boat, that's something that can happen. Yeah. If you have a lithium iron phosphate, that's another safety. You have. Well, you don't need to crash it if it's uh, yeah, appears, around. Yeah. And yeah. It's, uh, it's jumping on the waves, it's uh, rough weather and it's jumping on the waves, you're driving fast yeah. and it gets Sharp objects, yeah. Uh, you, you will have a problem, I'm for sure. Um, so uh, the Paul is asking, 100 amp hours is uh, live lithium iron phosphate for uh, uh, phosphate with, with front roller, ca can I put a, a fish finder on it? With the live without without uh, noise. Mm. I would never, um, nah. never put the same. Uh, um, and especially not the live battery as the, the, the front roller. Actually, what we did, did not talk about is the uh, ah. voltage regulator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True. So maybe put the top comes. Uh, or yeah. maybe no, no, show it here. Yeah, show it here. This is actually a nice feature. If you want to uh, use the full capacity of your uh, your lithium uh, battery, you can use a voltage reg regulator. It's because the the voltage is, is dropping uh, while it's discharging. That's yep. like every battery. Uh, a lead acid, uh, battery is, it starts at 13 volts. Same with the lithium iron phosphate or lithium battery. It's dropping. And yep. when it's Correct. dropping at a certain moment, some fish finders, uh, they don't operate anymore. Yep. Like it's because yeah. as, as, as from 10 volts, it says I'm not working anymore and it shuts down. So it means you still have some capacity left in your battery, uh, which you cannot use. So this is the, the voltage regulator, uh, why it is used. It will, regardless of the charging state of your battery, it will keep the 12 volts. Yeah. So you can use the full capacity of your, uh, um, of your, your battery. battery yeah. indeed. So that's some extra time for your fish finders. Mm. Uh, I read an article last week from someone whose house almost burned down through a lithium from Ali. Do you think that would happen sooner with those quality batteries? Yeah, I would uh, say indeed that is. Uh, I think it's the combination of the quality of the ba of the cells, but also the quality of the BMS. Yeah, right. and the cells, BMS, and maybe also the case. Mm. So if it's just laying there, or most of the time it's with charging that it goes wrong. So if there's not a BMS that shuts down the battery at yeah. a higher temperature, and it just keeps on going wrong, yeah. then you're gonna have, have fire. What they call the thermal runaway. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I had a tornado cell. The heck. DEF fused with a black box. Uh, uh, yes, you feel 100%. You got your money back. Okay, yeah. uh, that's indeed probably the BMS that was uh, yeah, faulty. Some, I also found some issues with uh, um, on, on boats with uh, these kind of batteries, which uh, together with the live scope, they the live scope shut yeah. down. It started up again, and then after a while, shut down again. So this is has to do with uh, the voltage, uh, which was not. Yeah. So it was while charging with the burn. Yeah, it was yeah. while charging as well. Yeah, okay, so it's always dangerous. Uh, so let's see the movie. Uh, what happens with what the cells? If, uh, uh, um, if you damage the cell. So what I did was I put one cell in between some uh, wooden uh, Logs, planks. Yeah. yeah, I put a nail in the wood and I just fixed the cell. Now, what you will see on the picture is that I'm not a good carpenter. <laughs> I cannot uh, hit a nail. Hit a nail. <laughs> If, it, uh, if, it, if your life depends on it. Yeah, <laughs> my life depended on it. So um, don't uh, check this one out, but uh, check try what the battery home. does. Yeah. Uh, and don't try it at home. And really don't try it at home. So here is the, the one cell is in between the wooden pallets. Yeah, you can see I am the worst carpenter ever. See how fast the it goes. cell is damaged and you will never be able to extinguish it. And this is only one small piece of yeah. cell from the 40 that were in this uh, big battery. Imagine if yeah, that one, one cell gets pierced, it will yeah, ignite the other, the other ones. Yeah. Yeah. And then you can't put it out because if you throw water on it, it will still, still keep on burning. Yeah, that's why for electrical cars, for example, to extinguish them, they just submerge them in a container yeah, with water. Yeah, it's the only thing you can do. Shut off the, uh, the, the oxygen. That's the only way you can stop it with burning. But it's more, I think it's more cooling down the, the cells. Yeah, but without ex oxygen, you can't burn. Yeah, see that's danger. So don't try this at home. It was in a controlled environment. Nothing could go wrong. Uh, wrong. I knew what was about to happen. I had safety glove, uh, goggles, and, and gloves, gloves uh, on. So, uh, voila. 
So what is what you're saying might uh, the same uh, problem. Yeah, yeah. Also, I'm not. I'm, I'd rather not na- give uh, names of brands, but you can type what you want. Uh, it's also the same with the LiveScope, uh, and we were indeed searching a long, a long time for it. Yeah, LiveScope is a sensitive piece of equipment. Yeah. It's really, yeah, a lot, a lot of details, so it needs a good power supply. Indeed, a stable voltage. Yeah, stable. That's very yeah. important. So. All right, guys, this was the end of the op- episode. Yeah. Uh, we're going to the end. I still need to give away this nice piece of line. Uh, of I will miss it. <laughs> well, we have a lot of others yeah. here. Uh, Jack has at home, yeah, yeah, indeed. But it was uh, quite controlled. I, have, I was, uh, there was no danger involved. And we are really good insured, so. <laughs> <laughs> we have a good insurance. Uh, we need so a new boat. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, all right, guys. So. Um, what we have to do is give away the hot uh, line. First, I you have to shut it down and close the entries. Yeah, here. Ooh, not a lot of people were actually in the raffle, so yeah. it will probably. I see some guys already won something, so we will. Uh, no more friends. I uh, close the entries. Uh, pick a winner. Okay, it's coming. Yeah, I don't know. You will. Okay, we'll come. You can. Uh, 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 that's good. Yeah. That's good. So yeah. now we can win this really great line. If okay. you win it, use it and give us uh, a feedback on what it does for you and if you really like it or not. So we can uh, tell it to heart your eyes if okay. it's good or what now it can I change. Can pick a winner. I will pick the winner. There it is. And it's Alex. All right. Nice. 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 So, so you can uh, try it then. You can try it. I hope you like it, uh, Alex. It's the yellow one. They, they are different yeah. colors, but this yeah, is the yellow one. Yeah, yeah, he also has the, oh, the Obi one. Yeah. Um, so you can choose the the the, the, the what's what braid you want. Yeah, we have a lot of here. You can choose in, this, in the shop. Okay, so this was the episode about the boat batteries. I hope you learned a lot. I hope it was not too theoretical. We try to yeah. explain it in a a normal way, let's say, uh, for everybody to though. understand. <laughs> and. Um, yeah, and if you have other questions, questions, you can ask them. You can put them in the chat now, or you can send them by email yeah, or uh, social messages, media. Yeah, indeed. So if you have some more questions, and or you are just congratulation, Alex, uh, congratulating Alex, Alex that's yeah. fine. Um, please ask them. I will just give it one more, more minute. Yeah. Uh, talk, talk for one minute. No, no. Talk, I can talk. I can talk for hours. Yeah, that's yeah, not a problem. Hours, <laughs> I mean. Thank you, guys. Richard, thank you for watching. Hope yeah, thanks for watching. And if you have other people that has qu- uh, that have questions, you can send it through, or you can give them the link of the mo- uh, the movie yeah. that we just made. I think it's something that everybody can learn something from. Indeed. So the uh, the movies will always end up in uh, Twitch. Uh, Twitch and also on you YouTube. Can view it in the c- uh, in the channel, but also on our YouTube channel. Also, the small movies we show we show in the between uh, will end up in the. Yeah, and you can find them through your website channel. also if yeah. you go to the blog. Indeed, to the blog version. You can of see it. So a lot of possibilities you yeah. can almost not miss just it. send it to all yeah. your friends so that we can friends. generate more yeah. Uh, yeah. So smart fishermen next week we will try to f- uh, show you the episode about Nedrick it will be with Dieter again Yeah. but I'm not sure I need to make some uh, footage still and uh, I'm not sure if we will have uh, enough footage uh, otherwise it's me talking here for one hour uh, about Nedrick I don't think it will be that interesting so uh, uh, about a little cool. turd <laughs> <laughs> a little turd <laughs> the z-man finistered yeah. so um okay so great stream guys always nice to learn these important details yeah okay. it's basic Thank but you. it's really important good all right good see you guys and yeah uh, see you guys next time n- see you maybe next week normally it will be or maybe week. on the water and otherwise you never know it will be uh, announced on facebook yeah okay bye 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 guys <laughs>